Okay, as you can see, this is the product right here. And of course, I, I would not forget to mention that I am not paid for this. I mean, it's just something that I want to do a review on, you know, just to kind of let you guys in on, you know, kind of what to expect if you do buy this product. So no, this is, I'm not paid for this or anything. So um, it's the uh, dark chocolate keto nuggets. And it says coconut, pumpkin, quinoa, and sunflower seeds. And um, as you can see, it is organic, non-GMO. And um, get a little closer here. You can see pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and quinoa. So this is a 16-ounce bag. And it has 4 grams of net carbs per serving and 3 grams of sugar. So it does have the stamp on it i know it, it is just a stamp i always look at things that it, it is just a stamp but it when it comes to the taste that's when you know i kind of determine you know um you know what's what's real and what's kind of you know artificial okay so right here okay so it has uh, organic dark chocolate in it uh 82 percent cocoa and then it has organic coconut, organic sunflower seeds, and quinoa, and pumpkin seeds as well. Okay, right here, um, of course, it tells you it's keto friendly, um, and it has none. I mean, no artificial flavors or colors. Um, I don't have to mention none GMO more all that stuff anymore. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, what it is now for the nutritional facts. For people who like to look at nutritional facts, which I do, because when I'm in a store, I look at nutritional facts. So let's look at this one. All right. Um. So it says 150 calories. Um. Let's see. Total fat 13 grams. People really just look at like sodium, uh, carbs and sugars. So here it has 50 milligrams of sodium. And total carbs is nine grams, three percent, and total sugars is three grams. So actually, it's not really that bad. But I do believe. <laughs> now let's get to what do you believe about all the stamps and all that good stuff that be on the package that say this and that. I do believe this because when I tasted it, oh my gosh, it has the taste is it's horrid. Is not good at all. And um, I couldn't even make myself like it because believe it or not, I do like things like coconut and pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. And I even make quinoa, which is this little stuff right here. I do cook quinoa and stuff and I have been eating this stuff for many years. But <laughs> is it good as a combination? I would say no. The fact that it's dark, dark chocolate and everybody should know if you don't know, dark chocolate is healthier and it's um, definitely like a, a heart healthy thing. And um, yeah, so as far as taste, taste, it gets a one. That's how bad it is. Now, what doesn't taste good to me might taste good to somebody else. But I do like everything it's filled with, but the taste, oh my God, it's not good. Okay, so now we got that part out the way. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, prop y'all up real quick. Let me open this bag so I can show you what it looks like. Because like I said, I've already tried it in. Oh yeah, another thing. When you're when you're um when you're handling this, you do need napkins handy because um, when you're handling this, this, as you can see, it gets all over your hands when you, um, I hope you guys can see that, but um, it gets all over your hands when you take it out of the bag. And um, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And it's just like kind of chunks covered in dark chocolate. And um, I'm going to break open a little bit so you can see it too. Just just kind of like, <laughs> I don't want to say, but it kind of looks like, you know what I want to say. But that's what it looks like. 
and it's completely chocolate covered. I will say that it's completely chocolate covered. Just wish it was milk chocolate covered. It would taste a whole lot better. And they're pretty hard. But when you bite into it, it's not a problem at all. Look at my hands. This is what I was saying. So that is like another least favorite thing of about this product to me because look at my hands. Ew. But um, when you open the package, I don't want to leave this out. When you open the package, it smells like <sighs> bread that's just gone bad, like kind of moldy bread. So that's another thumbs down for this product. But if you're, you're into the keto thing, you do want a healthy little snack, I say go for it. This is what you go for. You know, if you can get past the taste, cool. And I've, I enjoy things a whole lot that um that I not used to like but I enjoyed them a whole lot in my adult in my adult life that didn't taste too good but I have grown to love the taste but yeah um once again this is the keto nuggets and you can find these in Costco um one thing about Costco Costco kind of it carries the same stuff sometimes, but sometimes they take it out of stock. Like they won't carry it any longer or they might surprise you and bring it back. This is my first time seeing this there. And um, yeah, so I just said, I'll take a shot at it. It's something's going to happen with it. either. Somebody's going to eat it or <laughs> I'm going to break down and eat it because it's really good for me. So I need to be eating it anyway. But uh, yeah, this is my honest opinion on this product right here. If you like this, go check it out at Costco. Um, but yeah, that's it. And guys, I'll be back again. Hope you enjoyed this. All right. Bye.